Good morning, everybody. It's hilarious how my gray hairs are waving at y'all. Hey, can't let them outdo me, right? August 29th, it's our first day of school at Legacy Academy. Woo -woo, let's go, Warriors. Anyway, and today from Mr. Graham's devotional, we're going to read about belief in the resurrection is rational. So, for the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. Psalm 33, verse 4. Many jurists of history became convinced that the resurrection of Jesus Christ is an attested fact of history. John Singleton Copley, Lord Lyndhurst, one of the greatest legal minds in the 19th century Britain, stated it this way, I know pretty well what evidence is, and I tell you, such evidence as that for the resurrection of Christ has never broken down yet, and guess what? It never will, because it happened. He is alive and well and reigning and ruling, and oh, he is. He was. He is, and he is yet to come. Praise God this morning. <sighs> Simon Greenleaf of Harvard University was one of the finest writers and best esteemed legal authorities in the 19th century. In his book, Testimony of the Evangelist, he concluded, it was therefore impossible that the gospel writers could have persisted in affirming the truths they have narrated had not Jesus actually rose from the dead. I mean, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> he is risen. Oh, get him off that cross. Get him out of that grave. He is alive. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Look at the many statements from leading intellectuals who have studied the matter from the standpoint of valid evidence. And you'll see that the voice of the scholar harmonizes with that of the angels and the disciples to declare in certainty today, Christ the Lord is risen today. Yes, he is. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. So this one today is just hallelujah news. This one today is just, just the truth, just uh, the most important fact I know. Thank you, Jesus. Does it give you comfort knowing that some of the finest minds agree about the resurrection? Yeah, it does. Um, it gives me that comfort that it is provable to a lost world. But me, inside of me is the Holy Spirit, and he proves it to me every second. Um, <laughs> faith, faith, faith. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. My words aren't coming to me. It's just, it's just what it is. He's alive in me, and therefore I know he is alive. Um, but yeah, it's it's good to know that someone seeking, having not yet found, and not having yet the Holy Spirit to attest to this wonderful, beautiful, miraculous truth can search and find through worldly wisdom, can find through educated minds, um, evidence, um, history, that in fact, he is risen. <laughs> what better news on a Monday? What better news any day, any time, no matter what you face with with the Lord God, the risen one, the living king on your side, in your heart, you can do all things. Like everything else pales in comparison. Everything else pales in comparison. Everything else pales in comparison. And can I tell you, I know this for a fact because Depression used to riddle me so hard I couldn't get out of bed in the morning and crying myself to sleep or just crying all night and not even having a good why. Just just something that would normally just piff somebody off a little or upset them a little or 
whatever, teach them a lesson would like cripple me for days. But after Jesus woke me up in 2019 and prepared me, and I'll get into that another time, um, to bury my son in 2020, folks, Jesus rescued my son. He let me know that himself. And there's not been depression even facing that like there was before without the Holy Ghost, without Jesus' righteousness that he gave me when I gave him my sins, when I let go of them and turned away from them. Um, it's, I mean, nobody can convince me otherwise. <laughs> so I dare you. <laughs> I dare you to see for yourself. Taste and see that the Lord is good this morning. Don't wait. Tomorrow might be too late. Tomorrow might be too late. Come to the one that that formed you in your mother's womb and find out who you really are. Only he knows. He knows you better than you know yourself. So be encouraged. Be encouraged that there's a reason to look up. There is something that trumps everything. There is someone who has overcome this world. This world can get you down, but there's someone who's overcome it and he's waiting to welcome you with open arms. Anyways, I've gone on long enough. Um, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You're so good. You are so good. Y'all have a great day.